basically solving inequality is just like solving linear equations when we talk about linear equation it is involved ax plus b equals to zero it's just that you need to change the equal sign into inequality symbols that involve less than less than or equal greater than or greater than or equal the solution to the inequality must be expressed into solution set or interval form plus 5 greater than or equals to t minus 7. Let's collect all the t terms on left hand side and constant on the right hand side. If we bring positive t to the left hand side, we're going to have 3t minus t greater than or equals to and if we bring positive 5 to the right hand side, we're going to have negative 5 minus 7. We solve 3t minus t, which is 2t, greater than or equals to negative 5 minus 7, which is negative 12. Let's divide both sides of our inequality with positive 2, t greater than or equals to negative 6. Let's write down our answer in solution set. We're going to have t such that t greater than or equals to negative 6. The second example, we have 1 over 2x minus 5 less than 1 over 3x plus 4. Same goes with the previous example. We need to collect all the x terms on the left hand side and constant on the right hand side. So we're going to have 1 over 2x, if we bring 1 over 3x to the left hand side, we're going to have negative 1 over 3x, less than. And if we bring negative 5 to the right hand side, we're going to have positive 5 plus 4. Solve 1 over 2x minus 1 over 3x, we're going to have 1 over 6x, less than 9. To solve for x, it's either you're going to cross multiply with positive 6 or you may multiply both sides of our inequalities with positive 6. So we're going to have x less than 54. Let's write down our answer in notation interval. So we're going to have an infinite interval, negative infinity 54. For our final question, we have a compound inequality. 3x plus 2 is more than or equals to negative 7 and 3x plus 2 is less than or equals to 8. If we bring our positive 2 to both sides of our inequalities, we're going to have 3x is more than or equals to negative 7 minus 2 and 3x is less than or equals to 8 minus 2. If we solve this, we're going to have 3x is more than or equals to negative 9 and 3x is less than or equals to 6. Let's divide both sides of our inequality with positive 3. So we're going to have x is more than or equals to negative 3 and x is less than or equals to 2. Let's write down our answer in solution set. So we're going to have x is such that x is more than or equals to negative 3 and 
x is less than or equals to 2.